Hey, how's it going today, guys? Brian Noonan here. Today, I'm going to be going over how you can ethically steal some of your competitor's sale. There's a couple of tricks I've learned after selling for over two years on Amazon, how important keywords are, and some tips and tricks that you can use to ethically steal some of your competitor's sales. Whether you're not ranking very well, you're not making as many sales as you'd like, um, we can go in and use a, a tool called Cerebro to go in and spy legally, of course, no black hat tactics here, on your competitors' listings and products to find exactly what keywords they're using to rank to page one, getting on page one, which means more sales, more reviews, more sales velocity. And so today in this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can go and find out what those keywords are, how a couple other ways that you can uh, take some of their sales, make more sales yourself, including down in the reviews, there's certain keywords down there near the reviews that I'm gonna show you that you can use throughout your uh, listing uh, as main selling features and uh, solutions to problems customers are asking about to make more sales yourself. Welcome to the channel if you're new. My name is Brian Noonan. I'm a full-time Amazon FBA seller and mentor right here on my YouTube channel. I release one to two new videos every single week covering everything Amazon FBA related, e-commerce, being an entrepreneur. So if you enjoy that type of content, which I'm sure you do, Go down please for me right now and press subscribe. Also give me a thumbs up or like on this video and drop a comment and you'll be automatically entered to win a 30 minute coaching call with me. I give away two 30 minute coaching calls every single video to two lucky winners who do those three things. My job right here on this channel is not to sell you something but to help educate, teach, impact as many lives as possible, sharing my story of how I went from a struggling drug addict six years ago all the way to a full time six figure online seller. Okay, let's go ahead and jump on over inside my computer so I can share with you how exactly you're gonna go find how to steal some of your competitors' sales, take more market share, make more sales and money yourself, all coming up right now. All right guys, welcome inside my computer. So what we're gonna be talking about um, is going over how to steal some of your competitors' sales or uh, more than half of their sales. And there's a couple different ways that you can do this. So I'm gonna be talking about three main things in today's video. Number one, we're gonna talk about a reverse ASIN lookup tool to find which keywords your competitors are using to make the most sales and be ranked on page one for. If you guys aren't that familiar with what keywords are, ranking, let me just kind of break it down simply for you. Amazon is a search engine. Customers are going onto Amazon, usually typing in a phrase or a keyword and searching for a specific product. That's phrase or exact match keyword. Then there's the other type of keyword, broad. This means customers are just typing in home decor. They're not really looking for mason jar home decor. They're just looking in general for home decor. But where you'll make the most money is if you can get ranked for several of those main keywords of your product, either phrase, exact, or broad, that have high search volume but low competition, if you can get ranked to page one for some or all of those keywords, it'll automatically mean more organic sales for you and you don't have to spend so much on advertising or PPC. So, number one, we're gonna be doing reverse ASIN lookup tool. We're also gonna show you how after you do launch your product, how to go back in and kind of analyze how you're doing so far, monitoring your launch for those keywords and ranking. And then I'm also gonna be talking about how to use your competitors listings making the most revenues down below in the product uh, below the product description down by the reviews there's some specific keywords there that amazon gives us it's not from helium 10 like the reverse asin lookup using cerebro these are keywords or search terms amazon gives us main selling features that we can use to advertise in our listing to grab the customer's attention to make them buy our product so that's number two and then number three I'm gonna talk about split testing. Now don't uh, feel too overwhelmed about what split testing is or means. It simply means adjusting your price to test what price converts better or makes more sales. Same thing with your main image. Your main image is so important, uh, just like the price and the title. The main image is what gets 65% or more of customers to actually click on your product. So split testing the main image just means swapping out your main image for a different one to see which one works best and gets the most sales. Okay guys, I have a product pulled up here. It's cup warmer for desks. Now I've shared this uh, product on my channel before. I am selling or planning on selling this product myself. You are welcome to look at it yourself. It is um, a little bit more competitive of a product, but I have experience here. So um, I'm gonna be going into this market. I'm offering a really 
um, high value one here that'll look really sharp and uh, I should be able to rank relatively easy. But here is step number one for stealing some of your competitor's sales. So I'm gonna use two different examples here. Number one, I need to pick a competitor that's ranked organically on page one who has a sort of a high amount of reviews, like over 200. I'm gonna pick one like that to use as, let's say as an example, that's your main competitor or one of your main competitors at the top of page one. Of course, the, the keyword when you type in cup warmer for desk, this is page one. Um, these, this is the only sponsored ad right here. So this one's not organically ranked, but this one is the first top organically ranked seller at page one. So I could use this one, uh, but it's Mr. Coffee, which is a big brand. So I won't use that one as an example. I'm gonna use this one, this Mispy coffee warmer for desk. And what I'm gonna do is use this one and then plus nine others as an example. We're gonna be using a tool called Cerebro. Cerebro is a reverse ASIN lookup tool what this does is it allows us to copy and paste 10 or so around 10 ASINs into this tool so we can find out these um, competitors at the top of page one or on page one for some or the majority of your top keywords for your product we're gonna go find the actual best keywords for your product that you should target uh, for launch and that these are the keywords you should be using throughout your listing um, to get ranked, right? We have to have these keywords throughout our listing. We have to have these same keywords in our title, bullet points, description on the back end uh, to help with ranking. So I'm just now copying and pasting 10 or so, five to 10 of these top competitors ranked on page one for this product, okay? So I'm just copying and pasting over here. I'll start with four, and then you can press get competitors, and then you can choose here uh, I've got four, I want around 10. So I'll choose six more similar products uh, as soon as it loads. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna tell me exactly what keywords these other sellers, my competitors, are using in their listing, in their PPC to rank to page one on. And we wanna include these uh, in ours uh, so we can also rank to page one on these, okay? Does that make sense? And then get keywords. This is gonna come back with probably over a thousand different keywords. I'm gonna show you what filters to put in to narrow it down. So we know exactly what our main keywords are that we should have in our listing, we should be targeting in PPC, and that we should try to rank for to page one. Position rank, it's called. There's about 20 positions or 20 listings per page. And so when I open up uh, in, uh, in Cerebro here and show you how to check your own product, how to monitor how you're doing with ranking, we're going to be looking at the position rank. So just remember, position rank just means 1 through 20. There's about 20 listings per page. So I'm going to go 1 through 30 here. That means I only want to get keywords in the position on page 1 or page 1.5. So on the second page, but at the top. Search volume. In the beginning, I recommend going after keywords that have a search volume of around 1,000 to 16,000. Word count minimum 2 match type organic guys and that's it then just apply now we had 21,000 keywords it's now gone down to 45 then i'm going to click on search volume okay and that's going to sort it high to low these are the main keywords that you should use in your listing and for ppc okay so uh, you can go through here and look at the keyword candle warmer electric is not really relevant so i'd get rid of it but here's my main keyword I would go after in my title and try to rank for right out of the gate. Coffee mug warmer. It's got 12,200 searches per month. Now, this is how you get all of your main keywords that you should try to rank for right out of the gate for your launch. And then over here on the right, uh, right guys, this position rank. What this tells me is where the seller is um, ranking. So what I want to do is let's say that that example I wanted to use that Mista is your product and you just launched. Okay, what, what we need to do is click on their listing. We need to grab their ASIN or let's say this is your ASIN and let's see how you're doing. How are you ranking for this keyword? So you can find the ASIN up here in the web address or down below the main niche. It's always in those two places. Then. What you'll want to do is paste your uh, your ASIN into Cerebro 
and then get keywords. And now after you launch one to two weeks after you launch and, uh, and you want to see how are you doing with ranking for these same keywords, because right guys, these are the keywords you want to rank for because these are the most relevant. This is, re this is from your competitors. We know these are highly relevant. If you can rank for half of these or more, you'll be well on your way to making over, you know, 80% of organic sales versus having to spend on PPC. So I, I come into Cerebro, you'll want to paste your ASIN into Cerebro. Just take a drink of coffee here. Let me know in the comments what type of coffee you guys like or tea. Um, okay, so you paste your ASIN into Cerebro and then we're gonna do, we're gonna just come down here guys, but instead of doing filters, let's say uh, this is your product. This is your ASIN now, we're just looking at yours. Click on search volume, slide over to the right. What you can see here is these are the keywords you're ranking for. So this one right here, candle warmer, that seller, this seller, this product at the top of page one is ranked in position 82 for this keyword, not the keyword coffee warmer for desk that I typed in, but candle warmer, they're in position 82. Now it's not a super relevant keyword, so I probably wouldn't include that in your listing or my listing or in PPC. I may test it in a broad or a phrase campaign, but we wanna look for organic rank 40 or less. Those are the keywords that you wanna to try to rank for. Here is a great one. Mug warmer, they're in position 18 on the far right. Can you see guys on the far right, organic rank? So they're at the bottom of page one. Remember, we have about 20 positions or 20 ranks, 20 listings per page. So we wanna be in position one through 20, even better, one through 10. So for this keyword, mug warmer, if this was your product, you're uh, at position 18. Here's one, 250 for off-white. Not relevant, you can get rid of it, you don't need to worry about it. Um, home office desk, you can get rid of it, it's not super relevant. But here are some great keywords that this seller is probably making the majority of their sales on. Coffee warmer, they're in position number eight. Coffee mug warmer, position number five. Coffee warmer for desks, they're in position three, which is exactly what it showed here when I did coffee warmer for desks. They are right here. This is position number three. So you guys can see how this works. You can go in, put in your top 10 competitors ASINs to get the list of keywords that you should use. And then once you do launch to monitor how are you doing, you copy and paste just your ASIN into here. Now, what would you do if you were in position five or three or 13? That's great. Do you still need to spend money on PPC for that keyword? I would still continue running PPC until you stay at that position rank for this keyword, coffee warmer for desk, for at least five to seven days. Then you can slowly taper off spending money on PPC for that campaign, uh, for that keyword. But you probably aren't spending much, if any, on that keyword because you're organically ranked in position number three. Now, here's a keyword that's super relevant, cup warmer. This, If this was our product, we're in position 62, which is page three, four, or five, uh, page four or five. And so what you would need to do is make sure you're targeting this keyword in your listing and in your PPC. Make sure it's in there a week later, come back in, you wanna see this number dropping, okay? Because it's a relevant keyword. So that's how you guys are gonna go through. Mug warmer for desk position five, candle warmer plate 14. How you're going to go check your uh, how you're doing after you launch? How is your product ranking? Which keywords are you ranking for? Is your PPC targeting the right keywords? Is your listing have the right keywords? And all of that. Now, my second tip for how to steal competitors' sales is open up some of your main competitors' listings. Okay, just click on their product, and then we're going to scroll down to the review area. We're going to scroll down to the review area. And what it has down here, guys, is super cool. So if you've ever seen this, you probably have these keywords that load right up here above the images. These are search terms or keywords or problems or uh, good selling features that are uh, constantly being searched and mentioned in the reviews. So easy to use, coffee and tea, mug warmer, coffee, Coffee warm, easy to clean, great gift, gets cold, gravity switch. So there's gonna be both positive and negative uh, uh, reviews that mention these keywords. And what you should do with these, with these 
for the ones that are like over and over again you see mentioned so mug warmer coffee warmer coffee and tea easy to use keeps coffee hot include these in your bullet points as main selling features keeps keeps coffee hot it's a great mug warmer for coffee and tea and it's easy to clean does that make sense that would be one bullet point that you would put up here because if uh, because if if those keywords down there are over and over and over if you have those here that automatically is telling the customer that your product solves these problems okay and that will help you make more sales so super powerful tip there guys keeps coffee at the perfect temperature adjust it from temperature a to e perfect for a home office uh, or makes a great uh, travel uh, makes a great gift for um, anyone who works at a desk so there you go that's tip number two guys on how to make more sales and open up several of your competitors main competitors listings and come down here to these reviews and uh, and grab the main selling features or search terms from these reviews that mention keywords okay that's tip number two and then last guys tip number three split testing what split testing is is let's say you got your listing all ready to go you're ready to launch your product gets to Amazon you have inventory available you start selling everything is going good you're making five to ten sales per day uh, five to ten sales with PPC five to ten sales organically you're working on ranking for your keywords what split testing is is just switching out this main image so maybe maybe for launch you have this image and you run it for one week and then for the next three to five days switch it out with a different image maybe it's a, a, a little bit further out or includes a coffee cup uh, on top of it okay so you can test if you include a coffee cup like these do on the top of it does that equal more sales for you does that make sense so just test that for three to five days uh, minimum three minimum three to five days or a little bit more to really get a good idea is if that uh, image is working better or worse the only thing I don't recommend adjusting too much or changing too much guys for the first month of launch is your title um, don't play with your title too much because that can really uh, negatively affect ranking adjusting your title or removing uh, some important keywords so that's one powerful tip there and then um, uh, split testing the main image and then last split testing your price so you can see here I would look at my main competitors who have a similar product what is their price so $15.99 $15.99 $17.99 $19.99, $12.69. Where would you price yours for launch? I would probably come in at around $16.99 because it's a dollar less than these, uh, or I would come in around $15, $15.99, $15.99 because this one is $17, this one's $20, this one's $16.99. These two are cheaper, but I would probably come in, this one's $21, this one's $20, this one's $15.99. I would probably come in at around $14.99, test that price for a few days, then go to $15.99, test that price for a few days, and then you can slowly build up to your target price of let's say $21.99, where you eventually want to be after month one of launch and rank. Okay guys, I hope you guys learned a ton in this video about ranking, getting your competitors keywords, how to monitor how you're doing after you launch, and then using those review keywords as main selling features in your bullet points to make more sales. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I've been trying to... What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel.